On Monday, she focuses on tennis skills. So the first thing she does is warm up. She begins with 10 minutes of light jogging and dynamic stretches to prepare her muscles for intense workout. Then she goes for forehand and backhand drills, which she spent 20 minutes of practicing the forehand and backhand strokes, focusing on form and precision. After that, she uh, does some serve and volley practice. Uh, she takes a dedicated 60 minutes to over time to serve, to improve her serve drills, to, to improve uh, doing a serve drill, sorry, honing accuracy, followed by 15 minutes of volley and practice of uh, for net uh, proficiency. Then she does some strength training uh, for 45 minutes. She engages in squats, lunges, and deadlift. Three sets each to build power and stability. After that, she does some cool downs and stretching. Uh, this in conclude with that the uh, the workout conclude with a 10 minutes of cool down incorporation of static stretches to improve flexibility. So the benefits of this of Monday or day one workout session is to enhance a stroke technique, improve serving and volleying skills and overall st uh, strength development. Tuesday, day two. Uh, it's specific for rest and recovery day. Uh, this day it allows, it's made to allow the body to recover or partake in light activities like walking, cycling, or, for, or swimming for active, mainly for active recovery, you know. Here's the day three. Uh, she take a focus on footwork and agility. So the first thing she does, as always, it's warm up. She does some jump rope and dynamic stretches for 10 minutes to prepare the body for agility drills. Then she starts the agility uh, footwork drills which she spent 45 minutes of her time on ladder drills and cone exercise to enhance speed and agility. After that, she does some strength training, which take one hour and 30 minutes of her time. Uh, the focus here is on legs, which she does some squats and lunges. They all take uh, three sets each like, and eight reps, three sets of eight reps each. Then. To support the aim is to support agile movement yeah this focus on the lower body then she goes for the cool down after other the strength strength training uh, and she goes for cool down and stretching the finish of a 10 minutes cool down and static stretching concentrating on the lower body so the benefits of Wednesday workout is to improve footwork, increase agility, and strengthen the lower body muscles. Thursday, day four. The focus here is on tennis skills and strength specific. The first thing she does, as always, is 10 minutes of light jogging, dynamic stretching, and rotational med ball throw. These are warm ups. Then she focuses, then after this, she goes for serve and volley practice she invests 90 minutes in serve and volley drills uh, to refine her skills after that she goes for a forehand and backhand drill this is intense uh, she allocates 120 minutes of her time for targeted practice on forehand and backhand strokes after that then she goes for rest and then she does some strength training uh, which take 45 minutes of her time in this area, she incorporates deadlift and co-work co mainly, which she goes for three sets of 10 uh, reps each. For several, for overall, this goes, uh, it's only, this workout focus on overall strength and stability. So after that, she goes for a cool down of the strength training, strength training, she goes for cool down and stretching, a complete session with uh, 10 minutes of cool down and static stretching. Such stretches. So the benefits of day four uh, is to is for continuous skill enhancement, refine serve and volley, and improve core strength. Day five uh, is a full 
body strength and conditioning. The first thing she does is warm up, which takes 10 minutes of a light jogging and dynamic stretches. Then she goes a full body strength training, which takes 90 minutes of her time. In here, she engages on squats, deadlift, co worker. It's a full, uh, they all, sorry, they all take three sets of 12, um, 12 reps each. They aim to target multiple muscles group. So after that, she goes for agility exercise. She incorporates 45 minutes of ladder drills for improved agility. Then she goes for cool down and stretching of the agility. So I conclude with a 10 minutes, a minute cool down and compressive static stretches. So the benefits of a Friday workout session is to uh, for overall strength improvement, heighten agility, and enhance endurance. Sixth day uh, is Saturday. She focuses on ten intense tennis training. First, warm up, which takes 10 minutes of, a, um, of light jogging and dynamic stretches. After that, she goes for in tennis, intensive tennis drills, a very intensive. So this she takes a dedicated 120 minutes, two hours of two of high intensity tennis practice, covering all aspects of the game from serve to backhand. Then she goes for a cool down and stretching. Uh, she finished with a 15 minutes of cool down through static stretching. So let's talk about the benefits of uh, this intense intense tennis training. So the, the benefits are sh to sharpen tennis performance, increase performance, in so increase the endurance and heighten skills proficiency. So Sunday, oh, the last day of the training of the week, day seven is a rest or, light or for light activity, mostly. She allows a uh, she allows her body to rest or engage in or she, she does some or she engage in light activities like walking yoga or swimming for active recovery so i hope you like this workout you can try in omi osaka tennis workout plan from next from next week